Hey guys, it's Kristen with another chance resale. Welcome to my channel. I'm a full-time reseller and we got a couple things going on in this video. So I have a couple things right here to show you guys. I have a little package to open and we have some jewelry to get through. So um, if you're interested in anything that you see in this video, you can email me at anotherchanceresale1 at gmail.com. I'm going to leave all my information down in the description box so I don't sound repetitive all the time. Um, I accept PayPal and shipping starts at $5. I'll just give you that brief um, information. And also down in the sold, down in the comment section, <laughs> I will put a sold list. So just make sure you check that before you email me. Okay, so I got these couple items at an estate sale. I did get jewelry at this estate sale, but I will be showing it in uh, my next auction, which is tomorrow at 7 p.m. Um, Laura, um, something came up, so Laura will not be joining me, but I will be uh, doing a solo auction just for a few hours, and so I will show some of that jewelry there. And um, these pieces, this is just a key. I don't know if anyone would be interested in something like this. It is a little rusty. It's kind of got that primitive look. It's a skeleton key. Um, I, would I would do $2 on this if anybody was interested in that. And this is really cool. This is, uh, I think it's a Lucite reverse carved and painted mirror. See how they did, they cut the mirror here and filled it. So there's all little holes in the back here, and it's painted in there to look like that. Isn't that cool? And as you can see, there are a few scratches on the mirror, um, but it, overall it's in really good condition. It's probably the size, you know, fits in the palm of your hand. Let me bring you up a little bit. Um, so I thought that was really pretty. So I'm going to ask $8 on the mirror if anybody's interested. And then this is really cool. This is um, made in England compact. Uh, the front isn't in you know, the best condition, but I thought it was still cool. It's K-I-G-U England. Um, the powder or whatever was here is no longer here, but it is still cool because you can slide that piece over and open it up and you have the little screen um, actually the blush probably was down here actually and the top had the little poof so I just that, thought that was pretty unique um, and I know people collect uh, vintage compacts so if anyone's interested in this one I will do $12 okay and now this package so this came from a brand called Silver and Ivy and I got this idea from Marilyn from Shady NY. I will put her uh, YouTube link down in the description box. She had gotten one of these from them and the, I really liked the jewelry. So I went to their website and what they, it's a jewelry website, it's all handmade. Um, they do, it's all plated I think, um, in silver, gold, and rose gold. And you can choose um, a mystery box to be created by them and sent out so that's what i did and you can choose you know there's all different types of mystery boxes i chose rings and you know i really i don't know how much it was if there's no invoice which i don't think there is i will put i will put the price that i paid on the screen Love that. <laughs> so here's all their information. Um, all right, so let's see what they sent me. Here is a little polishing cloth, how cute. All right, so it looks like I have four rings and I told them, um, cause they, they also asked sizing and they also asked um, finishing, so I said, um, either finish gold or silver, just no rose gold. So let's see what they sent. Ooh, that's nice. 
And as of right now, I do not have my gem tester. Um, I have to get it calibrated. I'm not happy with the way it's working. So unfortunately at this moment, I cannot test this. And I think I said size eight, I don't remember. I should probably just pull up the information. This is really cute. Yeah, let me pull up the information. It and doesn't right say back. what size I chose, but I picked two mystery boxes at $32 total. So all together, so for the five, I mean, four rings to be shipped to me, um, it was $35.99. Okay, so let's look at this again. You know what? I can just measure it and see what size it is, duh. Okay, so it's a seven. Maybe I didn't give sizes, I don't remember. So this took, I think, three weeks to get to me. Um, but I do think that they are real stones or maybe just glass. I really wish I had my gem tester, but this is really cute. So it would fit here on this finger. I do really like that. So that's number one. I like how it has like a um, hammered kind of shank there. Oh, that's cute. How cute and dainty is this? Yeah, I think they're all sevens. Well, so far. Nope, this one's an eight. But it still doesn't really fit. I thought my pointer was an eight. But I wouldn't wear something that dainty on that finger anyway. It would go, it would probably go there. Super cute. Um, I will sell these if anybody is interested. Um, let's go through them first and then I'll go through pricing. Ooh, that's cute. This would look so cute with your diamond ring if you are married or engaged. It would kind of sit right there. So that's cute. Or even just plain works too. I want to see, are they marked on the inside at all? Let me look. Okay, yeah, so this one's marked 925, so it is sterling. Let me just look at the rest of these. Yep, so this one says 925 as well. So this one's a Vermeil. And this one also is marked 925. So it's plated over the silver. So that one's really cute. Let's check the size of that. This one's an eight as well. I think there's a little, I feel like they're small, but maybe I'm just, maybe because it's hot in my apartment, my fingers are a little swollen. So that is that one. And we have, ooh. So this is like a double, kind of like a puzzle ring. This is cool. So this one, let me check for markings. I don't see any on this one. It could be because it's so thin. I'm not sure, oops. So that looks cute. You can even stack some of these. Cute. And this one probably is an eight also, yeah. This one looks like it's more like an eight and a quarter, but again, these are so dainty, I, would, I wouldn't wear them on my pointer finger. So that's really cute. So I will have all of these up for um, sale. So let's see. Um, Let's do, let's do um, 14 each on these guys. Okay, and we'll do um, 16 on this one and 18 on this one. Okay, so you can just um, make sure you give me a timestamp 
um, and a brief description of the items you're interested in purchasing. So that was cool. I liked that. Um, I will put the link to their website in the description box as well if you would like to check them out. Um, I'm not sponsored by them. I don't have any coupon codes, nothing. It was just something fun for me to try. Okay, so let's see what we got in this jewelry that I would like to go through with you guys. Okay. So this we have, this I may have shown in a previous video. I don't really remember. This is um, an agate slice. It is fairly large and um, it has a silver tone chain measuring a 10 inch drop. So we are going, I think I did show this. Uh, we're gonna do $8 on this guy. I have some brooches, this really pretty one. Gold tone, really nice condition. No maker mark, right? Yeah. Uh, so let's do $6 on that one. This guy also does not have a maker mark. He's silver and gold tone. We'll do six on him as well. Let's see what this is. I've had all this jewelry for so long that I don't even remember what half of it is. Okay, this is Silpata. That's the Silpata tag. You're not focused good enough. Okay, and usually they do sterling silver, but this is a cute little bracelet with gold and silver, probably a vermeil if I can open it. My nails are getting too long. Yep, it says 925 on the clasp right there. So this is really pretty. I love the two-tone. You know what, I probably, I may not even need this light. I feel like sometimes this light makes it worse. Actually, yeah, I do need it. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Okay, so this is really cute. Love it. Love the uh, multicolor tones that we have going on here. Um, it does have an extender. You can put um, a couple little you know, does extend a couple little notches, not really too much. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to really measure this because it's so curved, but let's see. Okay, so we can go from six and a half to about seven and a quarter inches on this one. So it's Silpata, let's do Let's do 15. Cute. Then we have this brooch, love this guy. He has just very little wear right there and a little bit on his face. Maybe a little here, but it's nothing major. It's gold tone, little shield, unmarked. We'll do um, five on him because he has a little bit of wear. This guy's cool. He is by Amar Amarula. Yellow twisted cord with a with an umbrella. I almost said umbrella for some reason. Elephant. <laughs> okay. And it does have a few um, links as well to be adjustable so it goes from seven inches and it can go all the way to eight inches so this is cute great for the spring and summer this color let's do five dollars we have a silver tone kind of rope and gold tone cuff bracelet I don't see any markings um, let's get a circumference seven inches and let's do 
$6 on that. This is cool. I almost kept this one for myself. It's a mesh, silver tone mesh bracelet with a buckle. So it's almost like a mini belt, but it's a bracelet. And it's in excellent condition. And it says China stainless steel. Really nice condition on this one. And it can go from six and a quarter inches to eight inches. So let's do let's do eight dollars on that. Okay, this I think is mood changing because I was holding it the other day when I took it out and it was, yeah, it's definitely changing. Let's try this one. Yeah, it was really green, now it's going blue. Okay, so this one is not marked either, but it's pretty cool. And it is an eight inch length. And I'm going to do, let's do $8 again on that. This is cool too. This is another buckle style bracelet and it has no markings. I was very shocked. And it has three different sizes to adjust. So let's see. It can go from seven inches to seven and a quarter and seven and a half. It's got a uh, like cream, ivory, enamel, and gold tone. And let's do $6. This is a wrap bracelet. It's pretty, it's gray. I don't think it's real suede, but it's in very nice condition. And you would just wrap it around your wrist. And then you have two sizes right here. So this one I'll try to do measurement on. We have, it can go from 14 or 15 inches, but again, you wrap this twice around your wrist, and I will do $5 on that. Then we have this cute little, I guess he's a deer, gold tone brooch, no markings, he's a little guy, we'll do four on him. We have a snowflake brooch with gray uh, probably plastic rhinestones. Good condition. A little bit of wear on the tips here, but nothing major. No maker mark, and we'll do four on that. Let's see. Okay, that has a knot in it. I'm not going to get it out right now, but this is really cute. It, this rope, I like the rope bail, and then it has a gold tone faux pearl. Really pretty chain. It does have an extender, but like I said, there's a knot in it. Um, and it's sitting at a seven and a half inch drop or wearable length. I like this one. Let's do 10 on it. Oh, and tonight, um, Haley Jewelry and Crafts is going to be doing a live auction, I believe at 10 p.m. Um, I will double check the time and I will put the information in the description box with her channel link so if you want to come hang out look at the beautiful jewelry she has um, and I'll I'll try to be there for a little bit and um, yeah just come hang out subscribe to her if you haven't already she always has such awesome jewelry and again her link to her uh, YouTube will be in the description box okay this I know is 925 I did test it and it is marked right there. And I don't have my gem tester working, but I believe that 
you know, I'm just going to sell them as glass because I can't confirm. I don't remember if these were citrine, um, but the findings are sterling. I'll have to have my husband fiddle with the gem tester when I when he gets home. He he can calibrate it a lot better than me. So, okay, 18 inch total length on this. Very pretty, super nice colors for the spring. It could even take you right into the fall, but I like it. Unique um, end caps here. So we're going to do 18 on it. Okay, let me get my other bag of jewelry and see what we got. So we have a pair of Zara hoops. Let me just get some stuff out. Okay, so we have a pair of Zara hoops and they're gold tone and they are about one and wait one and three fourths inch diameter and they kind of have like a hammered look to them very thick and they have a an $18 price tag on it. it looks like it's been opened but who knows so I'll do six dollars on these I have another pair of Zara earrings. These are long and dangly. They have polka dots and some red. Actually, oh, there's a big scratch on that one. Okay, so I'm not gonna be able to sell that as wearable. See that? That's huge. So um, these will have to go into a craft lot. So these will be a dollar if anybody's interested in them. Unfortunately, that scratches there so then we have this probably lucite or acrylic probably acrylic um, black with the gold specks bangle pretty cool and it's coming in at a seven and a half inch circumference so let's do five dollars on that then we have this really cool stretch bracelet. It's like a charm stretch bracelet and you have all these lovely sea creatures. It's not sterling. Really cool, a lot going on here. So let's do, um, I will just do five on that. We have a Napier necklace. Really pretty, you got some wood, gold tone, and white beads. There is an extender. Actually, since it's a little on the curved side, let's straighten it out and get a measurement. It can go from, now this is total length, 15 to 17 inches total. Uh, let's do eight dollars on that We have a silver tone with like a gold diamond cut gold tone diamond cut in it Don't see any maker marks. It's in good condition. There's a couple little minor scratches uh, Let's get a circumference. It's eight inches and We'll do five bucks We have this bracelet by Hallmark, Wish, Hope, Dream. It's got really pretty yellow beads on it. They're just plastic and there is an extender. I'm not gonna take it off the card, but there is an extender, so I'm pretty sure it would fit almost any size wrist. So let's do $6 on that one. What else do we have in this bag? Oops, I dropped something. Okay, let's look at this bag that I dropped here. Ooh, these are cute. All right, so we have some enamel flower brooches. 
This one kind of has a little bit of the paint missing on the edges, very little though. So we'll do four on this one. This one is pretty cute. Oh, this one's, oh, this one's a Weiss. Look at that. Nice. So let's do um, 18 on this one. And this one is unmarked. Good condition though. Actually, there's a little bit of something right there. So I'll do uh, four on that one. And then we have this guy. He's cool. A couple little spots of missing enamel. So, oh, and there too. So we'll do four on him as well. Okay. Get this untangled. Got all kinds of stuff stuck in here. Like how did all this, how did this happen? All right, hang silly. on. It happened because it's part of the necklace. <laughs> how silly of me. Okay, so it's a, let's see, one, two, three, four, five strand necklace. The clasp is up here. It's got this cord and gold tone. It's got um, black faceted beads and then this ring, which is kind of random. I probably would try to take that off, but that's just me. Um, it is long. My phone is blowing up. It's a 15 inch length to the uh, shortest layer and then 18 inches to the longest layer. So we'll just do five on that one. This one has glass beads. Really pretty. Gold tone. Barrel clasp. It's a seven inch wearable length, so a really nice collar necklace. It's pretty small. That's only 14 inches around the neck. Um, even with my neck, it's like right at the base of the neck. So this is a little bit smaller. Um, we will do six on that. There's an earring. I probably have the mate somewhere. Here is a pearl necklace. Yeah, I think these are real. Super pretty with the probably fish hook clasp. Let's see. Come on, push in. How come it won't come out? Okay, I don't want to break it. So we're just going to put this one on the side. If anyone wants it, I would do $8, but I don't want to you know, risk breaking this. So we're just gonna put that off to the side. This is like a Pandora style bracelet. You have the hook here with two lengths and all these really pretty like safari style beads. And um, always look on the sides. If they're sterling, the, they would say 925. Or if, oh, that one just came out. Yikes. Or if it's um, Pandora, it'll say A-L-E. But this one does have a little bit of wear. So I'm only going to do $2. And I'll get you a measurement. 7 or 8 inches. And this, see that how this cap is coming off right here? So $2 on that. This one... I don't see any markings, but it's in fabulous condition. 
silver tone and mesh, like with these S's here. Really nice. So let's get a total length on this one. The good thing about this hook, you can put it in any of these links. So that's really nice. But I'll show I'll tell you the shortest length can be 12 inches and the longest length can be 16 total inches. So this is a really nice one. Let's do um, $8. We have a crown trafari pendant. Really nice and big, a nice starburst. So let's do 12 on that. This is really cute. This is a silver tone brooch. No maker mark with a mother of pearl. These aren't marcasite, that's just the silver tone to make it look like marcasite. But let's do five on that. We have this necklace. I feel like my um, lighting is very weird. Sorry about that, guys. This is another crown trafari, silver tone leaves. It's actually in really nice condition. Here's your trafari hang tag, crown trafari hang tag. I'll give you a total length on this one as well. The shortest length measures 14 inches and it can go to 15 and a half. So this, is, this one's a little on the smaller side as well. So let's do 12. Okay, we have a couple of clip-on earrings. These are Panino. I don't think I've heard of that. Oh, these are nice. So they're definitely vintage rhinestones and baguettes. A little bit of discoloration of the rhinestones, but the earrings themselves are in really nice condition. I don't know this brand, so that's my bad. So we're just gonna do five on these. And then these are, oh, these are Hobay. Okay, all right. Hobay. Right there. And they are faux pearl with the rhinestones and everything's there and accounted for. I don't see any like scratching on the pearl. So let's do 20 bucks on the Hobay clip-ons. Okay, we have a little bit more to go. All right, let's start with that. We have this bracelet. This is really pretty with the orange and like a teal and off white. It does have a very small opening here, which is kind of worrisome. It's only about a six inch, like around. Yeah, I couldn't even get my, this is really tiny. I'll just do four on that. That's cute. Pilgrim. These don't feel cold, so they might just be um, plastic cabochons, but they look like they're all there. It's in really good condition. I don't know if this is working, but it is a clamper bracelet. Watch, bracelet watch. It's sitting at about six inches, but since it's a clamper, it can open, but you don't want it to really show the watch. So um, since it is a smaller size, let me see it on me. So it fits me like perfectly. Um, so let's do $6. Here's 
Here's a bracelet, and this is SC, so I'm gonna guess Sarah Coventry. Really pretty, like arrow kind of design, gold tone, very nice condition. And it is seven and a half inches. So let's do $8 on the Sarah Coventry. Then we have another gold tone bracelet. This one is a little bit larger. But again, really nice condition. I don't see a maker mark. We're gonna do, uh, this is gonna be eight inches and we're gonna do $6. This bracelet I've sold over and over and over again so many times. This is Sarah Coventry. <laughs> really cool. This one's probably in the best shape that I've seen. Really cool um, flower panel bracelet. Remember, guys, to check the sold list down in the comment section before you email me. And all my information is always down in the description box. Um, just send me a brief description and a timestamp of the items that you're interested in. So this is a seven inch bracelet and we're gonna do eight dollars on that as well. Here's an earring we'll hang on to. This is a watch pendant by Endora. So I'm just gonna sell it as is for $5. Here we have kind of like a thermoset necklace. I don't know that if that's a maker mark. It's not on the hook. It does have glue discoloration. So I don't know if that can come off but I will give you guys a total length. It can go from 13 inches to 16 inches. And because of that discoloration, I'm just gonna do um, $6. Then we have this guy, but he's very, he's very worn. I don't see, I don't see a maker mark. But if you notice, the chain is like a completely different color. It's not even gold tone anymore. There's a lot of um, glue discoloration, but it is thermoset. Hi. Uh, I'll give you a length on this one as well. 12 to 15 inches. So this is a smaller one. So I'll just do um, five on it because of the wear and discoloration. We have a cute little um, probably dyed howlite stretch owl bracelet. We'll do four on him. Oh, here's this other earring. Gold tone. That looks bent to me. I'm just gonna put these in craft. Uh, that looks bent. Like, look at how it looks compared to that one. Yeah. Okay, and then we have a bracelet. This one's pretty. With the safety chain. This one, let's see. Oh, it's like a little clamper. And it's a crown trafari. See that in there? All right. Oh, it doesn't really seem to stay closed too well. See how it kind of pops back out? Hmm. It's six and a half inches. Let me check all the rhinestones. They are all here. Um, so because of the hinge, it kind of doesn't stay clamped in there. Um, 
I'm just going to ask $8. Otherwise, this probably would have been like 16 bucks. All right, we have some more earrings we'll put to the side. We have all this stuff. All right, and this is the last of the bag here. Let's go through these. These are all vintage clip-on earrings. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay them all out and I'll give you a price. Like these say Hong Kong. These say Japan. These also say Japan. These are glass. These say Hong Kong, these are plastic. These don't say anything, these are glass, but they're a little dirty. These look like they're probably a bone of some, or something, maybe not. We have these. These don't say anything, like a blush color. Then we have these screw backs. Oh, these are kind of in bad condition. Okay, those are gonna go into craft. My craft pieces are a dollar each. These are Hong Kong. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do um, $3 a piece on these. And if you buy more than two, I'll give you the third piece for a dollar. Actually, I'll give it to you for free. So buy two, get one free at, what I say, $3 a piece. This one has some discoloration, okay? So $3 each, buy two, get one free. All right, all right, moving along. We have, this is Crown Trafari also. We will do six on that. Gold tone, good shape. Here's this guy. This is Bergery. I don't know how to say that. But these are gold tone clip-ons. They are really dirty. They need to be cleaned up a little bit. Um, gold tone button clip-ons. I don't remember this brand, but let's just do, um, we'll just do $5. It's okay if you guys get a deal. This is Avon. That's really cool. It's like 3D gold tone. The um, little points here are silver tone, I think. The back has a little bit of wear. It is marked Avon and it is a size seven. So let's do five bucks. We have a pair of silver tone hoops. They're probably a little bit bigger than a quarter. We'll do four. I don't remember what this is. Oh, it's a little watch. Bell art. Little watch pendant. That's cool. Even just as a pendant, it's cool. Uh, let's do $6 on that. Here's another watch. This says Lucerne watch pendant. Don't know if any of these work. Um, so I'll just do $6 on it. Ooh, we have a little Buddha head stone bracelet. We'll do five. Here's this other earring. So these are like, are these the Italian wedding beads? I'm not sure, but they're glass. There's a little bit of wear on the um, lever back. So we'll do four. We have this ring. This is PGDA, is that Pagoda? Stainless steel with a um, it's like a, 
it might be rose gold, but it's kind of like a coppery color. And it looks like you can slip a picture in there. Size eight. Um, we'll do eight bucks on it. Ooh, this looks like it matches that uh, necklace that I couldn't get to open. See, that one I could open. So this is the fish hook clasp. Then you just go like that. And then to put it back, there you go. So let's get you the measurement on this. Seven and a quarter. And I'll do six bucks, because those are real. Here's a little brooch. This says Monet. Cute little brooch with faux pearls, so we'll do $4. These are Crown Trafari clip-ons. Oh, oh no, but that was silver tone, the other necklace that looked like this. Where'd it go? Where'd I put it? Yeah, yeah this is silver tone. Oh well. But I have both, they're in pretty good condition. And I'll do six dollars. Oops. We have some more clip ons. I don't think some of these had mates, if I remember correctly. Oh, wait, no, maybe I do have them. I don't remember. Oh, yeah, here. Okay, so these are star, and they're silver tone. These are in really nice condition. We'll do five on those. These are Sarah Coventry, $5. Clip-ons, nice condition. And, ooh, there's a fuzzy in this one. Okay. These are also Sarah Coventry, really good condition clip-ons, $5. Uh, these were cool. These are Crown Trafari. Look at how cool these are. I guess they're strawberries or a, a uh, pine cone. I don't really think pine cone has that top. But either way, they're in excellent condition and they're super cute. Let's do 10 on these. These are really nice. We have some sweater clips. And another good idea to wearing these is if you have like a open cardigan or a kimono um, or like a duster style, um, like throw on over like a cami, you can clip these on to each of the sides that are open in front of you, like maybe at your stomach or something and it'll keep it closed and be really pretty. So these are Crown Trafari as well, so let's do 12 on these. We have a bow, rhinestone bow brooch. Ooh, is it missing a stone? It is right there. So this will only be a dollar. I'll keep it up here. I don't wanna get it ruined even more. This is cute. This is also Crown Trafari. This is also a pendant, so it's a brooch pendant. Let's do 10 on that. Here's an earring, I don't know if I have the mate. I've sold this brooch a bunch of times too. This is Sarah Coventry, the um, red lucite and rhinestone strawberry brooch. It's in good condition, there's just a little bit of wear right there. So let's do five bucks. And actually this, nope, I have, I have this, I have one more. So two more pieces and then that's it. I don't know where that came from. That's going into craft. And I don't know where the other one to this is. This is Crown Trafari, so I don't know. I guess we'll just do a dollar on that. 
Okay, so the last two pieces I have is this uh, red flower brooch. This is, oh, this is Crown Jafari as well. Um, it is a little bent. Let me see if I can just move that back. Well, there you go. I did it a little bit. Um, I'll do five on this since it's a little bent and missing a little bit of enamel. This is Sarah Coventry. Really nice condition on this one. This is a heavy one. There's a little bit of wear on a few of these little points in the middle. Um, let's do six. Okay, guys, that wraps up this video. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate you guys. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe right here if you haven't already. The red button, it is free. Thank you again, and we will see you in the next one.